All right, so I'm excited to show a new feature that we have in Canvas. It does utilize AI and it's called Conmigo. So maybe you've heard of Khan Academy. This is their AI tutoring tool and they have a free version of it that they've partnered with Canvas to provide to, to teachers at no cost, especially if we are Canvas users, which we are. So if you really wanna leverage the tool, first thing I would do is go to Conmigo and create an account. You can also do that through Canvas. I'm gonna show you how you can turn it on. So basically this tool is something that's gonna show up as a menu item for you, but you have to make it active first. So if I open up my Canvas course, if I have an elementary teacher, I'll click manage subject first. And then if I'm a secondary teacher, I just scroll down and click settings. Elementary, as soon as you click manage subject, you're already there. And it takes me to this screen and I'm gonna go over here where it says navigation. And if you are an elementary teacher, You'll just access it from here. You don't actually have to follow these next few steps. You already have it enabled. If I'm a secondary teacher, I need to make it an active menu item. So it's probably down here as a hidden menu item. And whenever I find it, I will click, drag that up, put it towards the top, wherever I want it to be. And then I'll scroll down and click save. So then you'll see it pops up over here as one of my top tools. Again, elementary, you don't have to do that. You already have it available to you. So if I click, Amigo Teacher Tools, this is where it launches. So first thing I need to do is actually go in and create an account, sign in if I haven't done so already. So you can use your BCSE Google account to get going. And essentially what this tool does is it allows you to create content really quickly using AI. So this uses Claude or Anthropic AI to generate the results degree to all of the terms of service things. This is something that the students do not have access to, only the teacher has access to this. And that's even if you go through as a secondary teacher and you make this menu item active, only you as the teacher can see this and click it, the students will not see it. So here we go, I am signed in, I see all of these different tools. So I can go through, I can create chunk text for my students, clear directions. That's something that I know that sometimes I'm a little long-winded. Maybe that isn't surprising to you if you're watching this video, but uh, that is something that I would really lean into is trying to make my instructions more clear for my students. There's discussion prompts, all kinds of things. Um, IEP assistant, you know, if you want to utilize that, probably doesn't make sense to put IEPs in your Canvas course, but that's a button there if you want it. So all different types of things that I can do. I can even have it make things relevant for my students or real world context generators. So I'm actually gonna click that and we're gonna practice doing this. So it tells me, you know, it's not perfect, it's AI. We know that because we know AI is only as good as the data set and data set isn't perfect. So while it loads here in this window, what I'm going to do is it's going to show me a text generator and then I just plug in the type of content that I want it to align to. So a couple of things related to that. Whenever you use this tool in Canvas, it doesn't necessarily make it visible in your Canvas course right away. So I do need to be able to copy this and then I can put it into a page in Canvas if I want. I can download it, it downloads as a PDF, and then I can upload it into a Canvas module. When I'm making things here, it's not in a ready to consume format for my students. I do still have to manipulate it a little bit. All right, so once it has loaded, I can go through and pick my grade level. And then if I'm wanting this to be context for my students, type in something that I'm teaching. So maybe this is, um, I'll have it think. And then it gives me results. And if I'm not 100% satisfied with what it creates, I can give it more input, more information, more guidance, and then I'm good to go from there. So here we go. It made this some, um, it made some connections to the real world. You know, real world is in current day. All right, and gave me some scenarios here. So these are nice things that I can copy and paste. Maybe I put this into a Pear Deck to start off class, or it's my anticipation guide to get students thinking about this topic if I'm introing it. Maybe I put this with some nice pictures and a slideshow, totally up to you on how you would like to do this. And essentially the way this builds it in Comigo is it's almost like it's building a document here. And if I need to tell it more information, I can certainly do that. I can give it more input, more context and go from there. I can also edit any of this. I can copy this. I can ask Combingo for more, make changes, try something different, discuss this. 
If you highlight anything, it basically brings up those options. Other buttons I want to point out, this little logo over here is Comigo. So I can give it, this is really opening that chat again to give it more input. I can type with my voice if I need to. I have math keys here if I'm a math teacher. Other buttons that are important to point out, this share button. So I can copy this and this is makes it in a more ready to use format for my students. So if I want my students to be able to look at this, they won't be able to interact with the AI, but they'll see this as a document and view only. So if I had to create a leveled text set, I could get the students this leveled text by copying this link. If I wanted to print this and use it, I can. Export is where I have some options. So I can save this to Google Drive. I can uh, save it as a Word document or a PDF. So if I do save to Google Drive, it's gonna ask for permission. I'm gonna have it do that real quickly so I can show you. All right, it's gonna go. It's thinking, and then I can view it. So I'm gonna come back over here and it does put it in a Google Doc. So again, this, while it is not necessarily ready to use or to consume for students right away in Conmingo in this section, I can always export it to that for my students. So here we go. And it always saves my thread. I can refresh this. I can see my chat history here. I can change my preferences and language settings if I need to. If I want to go back, I can. And whenever I find tools that I really, really like and want to keep using them, I can star them and then they show up on my favorites menu. So I have to search every single time. So if I also want to see some of my saved chats. I can access it here from my documents. You have a lot of flexibility. So this is really just bringing in some of those popular generator tools like what you see in Chat for Schools, Magic School AI, EduAid, some of the popular ones that are out there and makes it even easier because it's available in Canvas. So if you have an idea or need some help while you're building your content, you can easily do that. So this, this is available for all of our BCSC staff. If you have any questions or want further training, we do have an upcoming, upcoming training at the end of the month in October. And if you have questions in the meantime, please let us know.